So hi guys, welcome to Kundus. Today we are going to discuss about fine edges. Okay, I think Sultan uh, is one of the slide addition application in the division of some of the different ones, and it is similar compared to the usual division, decimal division or the integer division. Uh, actually, we are going more. Okay, so now we are taking two numbers. Before that, we try to discuss its two strings, two variables. So here I take in three variables. Actually, I take in three variables. And the uh, first variable is a, second variable is b, and actual division result of the a and b is two vector. Three variables. Zero divided by zero is equal to zero. Zero divided by one is equal to zero. And one divided by zero is equal to zero. And anything divided by zero is actually the infinite. And one by infinite is actually zero. So it means that we are going okay, to minimize. Okay, one divided by one is actually one. So here we take in two important rules and we try to memorize this rule. Okay, these things only we are going to apply in our division problem, binary division problem. Okay? The first rule is greater than or equal to me, then take one of the portion. Less than ten means take zero in the portion. Okay, these are the two important rules why we are going to apply in binary division problem. So we don't need to waste time. We can directly go for the problems to apply this concept to get the binary division result. Okay. So first sum is the first is sum. Okay, we have four. So. Zero, triple one, double one, double zero, division followed by zero zero one zero. So we have to find its division result or portion. Okay. So first, so first I'm going to write the division of okay. it. For usual division, we can place. Divide and count this thing. Divide and this is quotient. Uh, this is the quotient phrase. And this is the uh, division phrase. And finally, after division, we will get remained around here. Okay. So I'm going to run this one. First, I'm going to write this okay, in my usual division format. Okay. So, I'm to first write the divide and one, one, double one, one, zero, zero. This is the divider. Followed by division is 10. So you read this actually means it has 0, 0, 1, 0. You can consider 1 division as to do the usual division for this sum. Okay. So first, I'm going to compare the or apply the first rule. What we have discussed on initial time. Okay. First, I'm going to compare the division from the two digits. Okay. Suppose we are going we have a three digits. Suppose you have one or one. We are going to compare the three digits. Okay, here actually the two digit is the division. Okay, so I am going to compare the ten with the eleven. Okay, the ten division is greater than the given segment of the digit. Okay, so for that I am going to take one in the portion, one in the portion. So. 1 into 10 is actually 10, so I am going to write 10 on the 0. Okay? 1 minus 0 is 1, 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. So then I am going to go down next, which is towards bottom. Okay? This is actually 11. 10 is greater than 11. If you given the if you are comparing with 11 and 10, the division with the divider. So if the digit is greater than or equal to means we are taking 1 in the portion. Suppose it is less than 
that given uh, to be the means we can take zero in the portion. So the uh, uh, ten is actually greater than ten. So I'm going to take one in the portion. I'm going to multiply one with the ten as you get. So uh, one minus zero is one. Zero minus zero is zero. Sorry, one minus one is zero. So I'm going to draw down this one towards the bottom. Again, this is eleven. Uh, 11, 11 is greater than 10, so I'm going to add 1 in the portion, then multiply 1 with the 10 piece, you will get 10. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus, sorry, 1 minus 1 is 0. So I'm going to bottom this one, for the bottom. So here again, 11 is greater than, so I'm going to add 1 in the portion. So with the 1 multiplied by 10 is 10. So here you get one zero. Okay. So uh done. Okay. So next I'm going to put down one more digit so zero. So uh, I can put zero on here. Ten is equivalent to ten. It's also false false under the first rule. So I'm going to put one in the portion. One into ten is ten, so it is actually zero. So next, I'm going to draw down zero towards the bottom, so it is zero. Zero multiplied by zero, ten is ten only. Actually, it is comes under second rule. Zero is less than ten, so it comes under second rule. So I'm going to add zero in the portion. So zero into ten is ten. So zero into ten is zero. So the remainder is zero actually. Okay. So the portion is double one, triple one, double zero, and the remainder is zero. Is the answer for this mutual division? So we have to apply the rules, first and second rules. The given division is uh, greater than the divider. So we have to take segment of divider. So it is greater than means. We can take one in the portion, we can multiply portion with the uh, division, we can uh, keep on subtracting it up to getting some number. Suppose it falls in the second division, suppose the uh, divine divider is less than the division, means. so we can take zero in the portion. If you multiply anything with the zero, you will get zero. So we have to continue this process to get in the remainder. So support our so sometimes we will get some remainder. So we are going to complete our division for the okay? So so here the quotient is double one double one one zero. This quotient actually gives the result for the sum. Okay? Next, I'm going to see one more problem based on this method. So, uh, I'm going to explain one more sum. Uh, the rules are similar. What we are doing is usual division. First thing, first we state the given number is greater than or equal to me. Take one of the portion. And second rule is second rule states. If less than the zero in division means we have to take zero in the portion. If we multiply everything with the zero, we will get zero. Further, uh, we will get so some result after end of this division process. Next time, we will get uh, 101101 zero, zero, one, divided by 101. One. It's actually one of the usual division. So I am going to discuss this in the So here dividend is one zero one zero over by one zero one zero one one zero one followed by we have to do some usual division process. Okay. So I'm comparing or I'm taking Three digits. This first three digits. Okay. 
So I'm comparing this first with the division. So it is actually equal. So it falls under first two. So if the given number is greater than or equal to me, take one in the quotient. So I'm taking one in the quotient. One not one multiplied with the odd one. So I will get one not one. So it is actually zero. So after we uh, you know that division is a uh, sequence of subtraction. So I'm actually get zero on here. So I'm going to draw down one to the present in the divided portion. So it is actually one. So one is actually less than one. One. So I'm going to take zero in the portion. So anything multiplied with the zero, I will get zero. So it comes under second two. So after subtracting it, I'm going to get one here. So I'm going to draw down one to the sound here. So it is actually then now also it is not equal to one or one. So I'm going to take zero in the portion. And if you multiply with the portion, so zero will be any other number, I will get zero. So here I will get one zero. So I'm going to draw down this one more digits. If I draw down this one towards the bottom, so I will get one not one, one not one equal to the one not one. So uh, I'm going to take one the portion, so one is multiple by one, one, I will get one out of one. So finally the remainder is zero and portion is one double zero one. This answer for this time. Yes, and I hope this uh, you can understand this problem what I'm thinking or saying now in the past question. And also you have to apply the rules for this sum correctly and you will get or uh, find the correct person for the time equations. And suppose you are in the team, try to comment out to the comment box and also try to practice you some based on this. Uh, this and uh, really if you are getting any doubt, please reach out to me. Thank you guys, we will see you on another video. Thank you.